Get into the frightful festive season. What's inside the newest BAM Horror subscription box? Now I say, why can't you celebrate horror during the holidays? Every year, the annual tradition in this household is to watch certain holiday-themed horror movies like Silent Night, Deadly Night, like Black Christmas, or at least the original and the first remake, not that dismal third. Do you watch annual traditional Christmas horror movies? If you do, let me know down below in the comment section what they are. Another way to celebrate, of course, the holiday season with horror is to subscribe to the BAM Horror Box, where not only just during December, but all year round, BAM delivers to you a box that contains memorabilia, replicas, and of course, autographs. And I don't know if this is specifically December's BAM Horror Box, but of course we'll know soon enough when we go ahead and get this opened up. The only thing that's preventing us from getting inside of this is the tape that's located on the front, taped over the section that says, for fans by fans. So of course, remedy that. I'm going to grab myself a knife, Chet Cunnington the third, if you please. And we're going to very quickly and carefully slice through that tape. But it's almost like the tape wasn't even there. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box. And on the front of the box, at least when you open up the flap, it says you are holding the ultimate collector's experience. I love getting the BAM box every single month, especially the idea of getting autographs. Let's go ahead and remove the wallpaper. I suppose you could use this as wallpaper. It would take you some time, yes, to apply what only would be like paper, like letter-sized paper pieces. You'd have to attach them carefully and make sure you line up all the BAM. That would probably be the hardest part. Lining, 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 lining up the BAM, the M on the BAM, I guess with, I don't know if it's, it doesn't quite line up. You'd have to do a little bit of trimming, but of course you'd want to make sure it's seamless from start to finish. Anyways, we're going to put that to the side. We'll grab the pin first. See what's going on with the pin. The pin, we get Alfred Hitchcock. It says BAM Horror. And actually it's not December, it's November, 2020. A very nice very nice pin, Alfred Hitchcock for November 2020. On the back of the pin, it says this fan art pin has been created exclusively for Bambox, inspired by the artist's love of the fandom. There are a limited amount of pins created. Once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made ever again. You can also check out more from Bambox by heading on over to their website at www.bambox.com, where not only you can go over there and decide for yourself which Bambox you want to get for yourself, through that, you can also have, and there's a little limited amount of time left in the month of December, maybe you might even end up subscribing for somebody you know, where then you can get them a gift of BAM every single month. That sounds like a good gift, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and remove this tissue paper. Sometimes I just leave it in the box, but I know sooner or later I'm going to get to this, so I'm just going to put that to the side for the time being. Uh, we have ourselves a handprint. A handprint. The only thing that's coming to my mind right now is X Files. I don't know if I don't know if I would say it's X Files themed, but it is a handprint, smaller than mine. Perhaps a child or alien hand. I'm not saying that children's hands look like aliens. Sometimes I do question the way that kids act. I think, are you from another planet? In fact, I might even say that sometimes. It becomes a little awkward, of course, if I say that really loudly in a store where, of course, the parents are right nearby. Are you from another planet? Probably not a good thing to be saying about somebody else's kids. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing X-Files. It looks like it's on acrylic plastic. And like I said, it's a handprint. Just a little bit smaller than mine. Not really sure. Not sure yet, at least. But we'll get to that in a second. We'll also have ourselves a scratch card. I've already got my nail clippers. I really do need to invest in something a little bit more professional, I would say, than just nail clippers. But we're going to scratch the first card. Let's see how well we fare here. The first card is, or the first box, is an art print. Okay, that's promising. Second one, whammy. Look at that. Always seems to be the case right there. I never get good, good, and then bad. It's always like good, well, you don't even really need to go any further, but yet I will. I'll keep going to the third box, see what we got. And it always seems to be like a gaming console for the last one. So I won, unfortunately, nothing. But I can walk away knowing that at least I tried. And that's really all that matters. Yes, you should always really try in life. Don't give up. Don't give up so quickly. The next thing we're going to have a look at is an insert card. Um, this looks like Buffalo Bill from 
uh, Silence of the Lambs. I don't know if that's actually him or not. Well, it's obviously not really him. It's a drawn image, but it looks like it's Buffalo Bill. That's my guess, at least. On the back, it says this is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is a part of set of two and a bigger set of 12. Collect both cards to make the set. Featuring art print is by artist Todd Purnell, and his autograph is down below there, along with telling us that this is number 172 of the limited run of 2,500 cards. Once 25, once you hit that 25 mark, after that, you're, you're out of luck. You're out of luck. So let's have a look at the inserts here. The first one is an autograph print. And I'm drawing a blank. I, I'm, I'm, drawing, I'm drawing a bit of a blank. I'm sure I'll know soon enough because I'm going to simply just look at the insert card inside. It probably has something to do with a horror film. I just don't know what. I just don't know who specifically. It's also been signed by the artist. And I feel really terrible the fact that the artist took the time to draw this. Probably used charcoals and pastels. and Maybe they just used chalk. That looks like chalk and pastel. But uh, I, don't, I don't know, unfortunately, who this is. And I feel really bad. I kind of feel bad that I don't know who it is. But I will know soon enough. Before we get to the insert card, though, then we also have ourselves an autograph. And the autograph is the girl from... Is it, is it, it's not Conjuring. It is, nah, I see I'm drawing a blank to that. In, uh, Insinuous? <laughs> not Insinuous, that's not how. It, I'm drawing a blank. I know what the movie is, and I think she's in the second one. Insidious. Why did I say Insinuous? Ugh, I need a nap. Insidious, but I think this is Insidious 2, if, if I'm not mistaken. It has been signed, at least. We can at least establish that. And the the uh, actress's signature is up at the top there. It's always interesting when you look at somebody's signature and you think to yourself, how did you come about going with this? Like, how was this? This is what you've settled on. I'm not knocking necessarily the actress. I'm sort of just thinking aloud. Like, when does somebody settle on this signature and say, you know what, that's the signature I'm going to go with. Because often at times I look at the scribble that I do and it looks like a chicken got a hold of a pen and just ran across the paper. I think to myself, is this the best I'm, if this is the thing that's going to identify people to me, is this the best thing that signifies me? Am I selling myself short with a real shoddy looking signature? I'm not saying that that's a shoddy signature. I'm saying that's a good signature. I'm just saying I have a real shoddy signature. Anyways, I'm going to put that to the side. Then we've got ourselves the insert card that will tell us everything we need to know. The celebrity autograph for the first time we watched Insidious Chapter 2. Why did I call it Insidious? I, my brain must have just fell asleep for a second. Uh, one of the main reasons for that was the introduction of Parker Crane's pale-faced, demonic, grinning mother. So we decided to share, uh, share her with you to permanently haunt your dreams too by bringing you the woman who brought the terrifying ghoul to life, Daniel is it Basuti or Basuti? I think it's Basuti. Basuti has over seven acting credits to her name over the past 20 years, making her one of the most pro prolific actresses in Hollywood since 2000, on top of being a renowned singer and songwriter. How about that? There's actually two ways that we could have gotten her, this one and this one right here. I'm actually admitting that I like this one a lot more than this one. I mean, both of them are fine. I think that's a neater looking autograph. Collector's pin. We just uh, just a few decades ago, there was about there was only one name that came to mind when people talked about horror films, and that name was Alfred Hitchcock. In tribute, we've asked Tenth Dimension Art Collector to design some of the pins for us, and they knocked it out of the park. Most will receive the Hitchcock pin, while others will get the Limited Birds on Screen or Tippy Hedron right there down below. We also have the Artist Alley. This was the thing I didn't know. This was the thing that stumped me. Anyone who's seen 2000's The Cell, which I have, uh, knows what what full of a kind was full of the kind of mind bending visuals that still burned, stay burned in our memory. Woo! I'm running the gambit. It seems running through these descriptions. Let's try that again. Anyone who's seen, let's try this again. 
The 2000s, the cell knows that it was full of the kind of mind-bending visuals that stay burned in our memory or your memory. This month, professional artist Danny Dale delivered haunting renditions of some of the images that terrified us the most, and we couldn't be more pleased. So I guess that is the, is it Vincent, the guy, the one that Jennifer Lopez jumps into the mind of? That might actually be the gentleman who actually plays him. And I think he's also in Law and Order SVU or one of those series as well. Cell is a fantastic movie. I feel like it's only a movie that has garnered interest now, the years later that it's come out. But it is an, a breathtaking movie, haunting to watch. But the visuals are absolutely stunning in the cell, if anybody has seen it. As for the prop item... One of the great treats of 2020 was the remake of The Invisible Man that made it to theaters before things shut down. Since we can't see him, we figured we'd send the only proof we could that he exists with this encased handprint. And I don't know if that's the handprint on the mirror, but uh, I mean, I guess there's a smaller representation of that. That's pretty cool. Artist Select Heart also included in this with the professional artist Todd Purnell brought us the stunning final face-off. This month, you're getting the beautiful version of, Butter, of Buff, Buffalo Bill, and we'll send you guess, and we'll let you guess. There, I'm doing it again. He'll, who he'll be facing in next month's box? Look out for the variant hollow foil, only a hundred made. Just to kind of give you an idea, though. I mean, we already looked at the variant up here, but there was also this one down here, and there's there's the variant of Buffalo Bill, and there's then the variant of the cell. So there you go. I mean, there really aren't that much different, although this one right here is of the more redder variety. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm looking at this. There's no way I would have guessed Cell. I love Cell, but I, there's no way I would have looked at that and instantly said, yeah, that's Cell. So I'm going to write that off. I'm going to say I would not want to hand in my horror card yet because that would be a tough one to pinpoint. Uh, as you can see, there's definitely a ton of stuff coming available from the folks over at BAM. If you'd like to subscribe to the BAM Horror Box or also the BAM Geek Box, or if you'd like to subscribe to both, you can head on over to the BAM Box at BAM.com, thebambox.com. And from there, you can choose which subscription box you'd like to go with. Again, they actually have expanded now. So not only just doing the BAM Horror and BAM Geek, there's also a whole ton of other BAM boxes available on their website. So check out their site and decide for yourself which BAM box is right for you. Today, we were having a look at the November 2020 BAM Horror Box. If you guys are new to the channel and liking the content you're seeing thus far, just know it's going to continue, hopefully, to be good content that you're going to be seeing. But make sure to do that and make sure you're staying on board here. Hit the subscribe button down below and turn the bell notification on and keep peepers ever peeled because there's always new content coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.